For today's video, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to compare two great microphones that I have here in the studio. The first one is the Lewitt microphone, the LCT640TS, and the second one, the Austrian Audio OC818. Both are great microphones. And the goal, you know, by doing this video is not uh, to, to, to make a winner out of these two, but to compare them in a very fair way, in a practical way. So if you're looking to buying a microphone, uh, this is the type of video that is going to help you out. Uh, because again, I'm going to compare the sound, I'm going to compare the features, the parameters, how they work, and so on. And these two mics especially have some very similar features that are actually very cool. Hey, what's going on? Chris Elim here from Mixdown Online. Now, let's jump right in and talk about these two very cool microphones. Now, both of these microphones are large diaphragm condenser multi-pattern microphones. I'm going to get more on that later on. Uh, but for this video, I'm only going to compare the main features, you know, what I look for uh, when, I, uh, when I work with a microphone and so on. So I'm not going to go into like very specific geeky type of uh, specs, but only the regular stuff. So first, let's Let's look at the case, the microphone cases that we have with these two mics. Okay, so let's check what we have with the Austrian Audio OC818. This is the very cool, nice looking case that comes with the microphone when you purchase it. And you have the, of course, the mic and the shock mount. It's a very nice shock mount, actually. Um, and uh, we also have this pop filter and we have another mic holder. And that is the XLR connection for the dual capsule. I'm gonna to talk to you more about that later on now. Okay, now for the LCT 640TS, look at this huge microphone case. It's massive. I was actually very surprised when that came in. Um, let's open this one up. Okay, so first this is, you know, essentially what you're going to get to the exception of the uh, the manual instructions and stuff. Um, but this is a very cool carry-on case or something. We call that une pochette in French. Um, and then we have the microphone, you know, and also the same type of cable that we have also with the, uh, uh, the OC818, which is an XLR uh, cable to, you know, this type of connection, which will take care of the dual capsule feature. Um, more on that later, which is also dual output, by the way. Um, then uh, we have the, uh, you know, pop filter foam thing uh, that we also have with the other one and uh, the uh, shock mount, which is quite nice. It's a very nice shock mount. And the an actual pop filter, which is actually very cool. And the concept is uh, quite nice. And this is essentially what we get uh, with the Lewitt uh, microphone and what comes with uh, the uh, LCT 640TS. Now, if you look at both microphones, as far as the parameters goes, if we uh, first look at the OC818, now those are switches. If you want to go from one polar pattern to the other or work with the pad or a different high pass filter, everything is, um, is going to be set up with switches, uh, which is actually pretty easy to work with. Okay, so um, now we have a pad that goes down to minus 20 dB. So we have zero dB, which is no pad and minus 10 and minus 20. As far as the high pass filter goes, we have um, 40 Hertz, 80 Hertz and 160 Hertz. The polar patterns are they're going to be the same on both the figure eight, uh, hypercardioid, the cardioid, the Omni, you know, and so on. Now on the Lewitt LCT 640TS, everything is electronic. Okay, so the approach is a bit different than uh, what we have with the uh, OC818. So what you need to do to change the polar pattern, uh, you just uh, click on the middle knob, like at the bottom here, we have like uh, three buttons, okay? So if you click on the center one, that will go from one polar pattern to the other. Uh, then the same for the, uh, the high pass filter. Um, it's going to go from, you know, uh, 40 hertz, uh, 80 hertz and 160 hertz. And same thing for uh, the pads. OK, now we have like four settings, uh, zero dB, which is nothing. And with the right button, uh, you go down by uh, by six dB then 12 dbs and also 18 okay so, so minus 18 is the maximum pad you're gonna get with this microphone uh, and if you keep your finger 
uh, right in the center and you keep pressing on the finger, uh, you'll get into uh, dual capsule mode. Um, now, I'm going to get right into this right away. So on the LCT640, you need this cable that comes with the microphone. So that's the XLR cable to this type of connector that I actually don't know the name of. And you just need to connect it on the side of the microphone on the left side. And that's it. And you connect this end, you know, the XLR end to a second channel uh, on your interface. So basically, you're going to be using two preamps, uh, you know, two channels of your interface to be able to work with this, uh, this feature. And what that is going to do, since we're dealing with a dual capsule system, it's going to record both signals coming from both sides of the capsule. Now on the OC818 side, if you want to plug that in, again, you're going to need to use your cable, the cable that comes with the microphone, and plug this end at the back this time of the microphone. So that's, this is how uh, the uh, OC818 works. Uh, there's a, uh, a the input connection at the back, and you just plug that in. Uh, now, something that you need to pay attention to, you just need to pass that cable, that end of the cable, at the back of the shock mount before you plug it in. You know, and then you plug that into the back of the microphone and that's it, you know, so not as easy, but it's not that complicated. So it works pretty well. And once that is done, you just connect the XLR end straight on the second channel out of your interface. So this way you'll be able to record uh, both sides of the capsule. Now, one last thing for the uh, OC818 is if you want to use a dual output, you just need to, uh, to put the selection to the center uh, where you have like the cardioid and you also have that icon, uh, upside down icon, which is darker. Uh, that means means you're going to enter in dual output mode. So this way you'll be able to record both sides of the capsule. And if you want to use the Bluetooth option that we have, then this is an optional option. It doesn't come with the initial kit. You need to purchase this one separately. Uh, if you want to use this, you plug that into the back of the microphone, same as we did for dual output. And you just need to bring your selection uh, to the far right, okay, which is the dark circle icon. And then you'll be able to uh, control remotely the uh, the polar pattern of the microphone via your app that uh, you install on your phone. If you want to know more about this feature, just go and watch my uh, OC818 review video. I actually uh, explain that in further details. Now, the main feature of these two microphones is the dual output or dual capsule mode um, that you have, which is actually very interesting. It's a nice technology and it's actually very useful. Uh, so you have the capsule that has two sides uh, to it and that you can record both sides if you want to, or you can use the second side and you use a plugin within Cubase or your own DAW to change the polar patterns. And this is actually very cool. I'm gonna demonstrate that to you later on. And you can also record both sides of the capsule, you know, if, if you wanna use them independently from each other. For example, you wanna record your room, like I usually do with, uh, with my drums. Uh, I'm gonna reach for this type of microphone, place that, uh, and actually I'm gonna show that to you later on. Uh, place the microphone, um, you know, f having the side of the microphone facing the drums and recording both sides of the capsule. Uh, to get a kind of a very nice room ambience, which is quite nice. But first, let's listen to some samples that I have, because this is something very important. To start with is to compare the sound of those two microphones, because they do sound different. And that is actually the very cool thing. Um, so what I did here is I recorded um, like a, a lead vocal, a female vocal actually, an acoustic guitar, a guitar amp, my drums and also my own voice not me singing don't worry but my voice speaking okay now we're going to start with a female vocalist my good friend Anne Clemence and let's start by listening to the OC818 mic Au clair de la lune mon ami Pierrot moi ta plus Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, you know, one is going to sound a bit more neutral, smooth, you know, which is the uh, OC818. And the Lewitt sounds a bit more open, a bit more bright. 
you know, in general. Um, if we quickly look at the frequency graph that we have for both microphones in uh, the um, the uh, cardioid polar pattern, uh, this is what we get for the OC818, uh, which is pretty much, you know, flat uh, across the board, apart from uh, a boost, like we have like a bump above 5K and above 10K with a dip in between. And it starts to go down below 50 hertz, which is quite nice. Uh, if we look at the LCT640 graft, uh, again in cardioid mode, at the lower end of the frequency range, we're starting to get a slope right below 100 hertz. The mid range is pretty much flat and we're starting to get a tiny boost at around 2K, then a bit more boost at 4K and right after uh, 10K, which adds to the brightness of the microphone. And this is exactly what I noticed when comparing both mics on uh, this female vocalist. Um, you know, we can sense the smoothness out of the OC818 and the fact that it sounds a bit more neutral when we compare that mic to the LCT640 that sounds a bit more open and a bit more bright. So whether I'm going to choose one or the other is going to depend on what type of vocalist I'm working with. And note that uh, the recording you're hearing right now is pretty much flat as far as effects goes. Where I only added a bit of reverb, some compression, but no EQ whatsoever. So what you hear is what you get. Okay, now let's listen to the acoustic guitar. So same thing here, polar pattern is set up to cardioid and we don't have any EQ whatsoever. Just a bit of reverb and that's it. Now I'm talking to the OC818 by Austrian Audio. Now there's no EQ, no compression whatsoever. It's a fully dry signal. And now I'm talking to the Lewitt Microphones LCT640TS, again, without any EQ or compression, a fully dry signal. So again, we can hear a difference between those two microphones. Lewitt microphone sounds a bit more, I would say, bright, a bit more top end, um, opposed to uh, to the OC818 um, that has a bit more lower frequencies and sounds smoother. So it depends. It depends on what I'm looking for. So, you know, in some occasions, the OC818 tone is going to work well. And uh, some other times, it's going to be the other one, you know, the, uh, the Lewitt uh, 640TS that's going to work pretty well. So uh, now let's go back in Cubase and I want to show you something um, when uh, we're going to talk more about the uh, the dual output, which is a very cool feature that we have on both microphones, which is actually very useful. You can record, like I showed you earlier, um, the both sides of the capsule that we have in those microphones. Um, and it's actually very cool. So what I did for this example is to record uh, a, uh, my drums with the uh, the OC818 and the Lewitt microphone, um, you know, placing them uh, sideways, you know, so the side of the microphone aiming my drum kit. Okay, so I'm recording the sides basically uh, separately. So I have like two different signals uh, by recording both sides of the capsule.
So those microphones are my two go as far as room mics. I love to place them this way and get this type of uh, uh, wideness, you know, that we get as a result. And my room is not a big room, so it helps to, you know, bring a bit more of a roomy sound depending on what I'm recording, you know, as far as the genre of music. I'm recording. Okay, now let's go and uh, look at the software, you know, the plugins uh, that we have with both uh, uh, both the companies. So for the uh, OC818, uh, we have uh, this one that is called the Polar Designer. Very well done. Uh, it's an awesome plugin. You can uh, change, and this is actually when you record again in dual uh, dual output mode. Uh, you place this plugin again on a stereo channel. Don't forget, and uh, like I did here. And let me show you, there you go. So now I have, um, in this case, I recorded my drums with the capsule facing uh, the drum kit. And uh, the uh, the second, you know, the, the rear capsule was facing the back. So that's why I have one signal that is louder than the other. But uh, the, um, the, the Polar Designer plugin is going to fix that up. And uh, I'm going to be able to choose between all of those different Polar patterns. It even gives me the ability to go in between patterns and... As you can notice, look at that. I can even, you know, use this plugin as a multi-band polar pattern switcher, whatever you want to call it, which is, again, very nice. You can actually craft your sound and change the tone of the sound uh, with this only. So let's try this out uh, with uh, this recording here. Okay, now in Omni. So now it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool what you can do here. Um, okay, let's go now to the Lewitt side and look at the plugin that comes with the Lewitt microphone. And this one is called the Polarizer. And it's a bit more simple, as you can tell. You know, there's not a lot of uh, parameters compared to the um, to the other plugin, but you know, it works pretty well anyway. So let's uh, check it out. Okay, so even then you can go in between patterns, you know, so, or if you just click, you're going to go straight to uh, the pattern, the pattern you want to, you, you want to, you want to go for. That's it, you know, so pretty simple, straightforward, nothing else. You just have access to those different patterns and that's it. Now, the cool thing, if you have the Lewitt microphone, you can use and download for free, you know, don't tell anyone, uh, but this is actually workable. So you can go on the Austrian Audio website, download the Polar Designer for free. And once it's downloaded, you can use it with the LCT640. So let's try this one. And uh, there you go. Okay, so now I have uh, the Polar Designer straight on the Lewitt microphone. So let's uh, try it out. That is pretty cool. So this is the kind of stuff you can do with this plugin, which is quite amazing. So there you go, my friends. Both microphones are great mics. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for as far as the tone goes. The OC818 sounds smooth and way well balanced, especially in the low mids. And the Lewitt LCT640 sounds a bit more hyped than the high frequencies, but not too much, so it gets aggressive. Just enough to add a very nice definition to the sound. So it depends on what you're looking for. Now, as far as the price goes, because this is actually pretty important. Also, the LCT640 goes out at, I think, 899 US dollars and the uh, OC818 at 1199 US dollars. So there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment, you know, let me know what you think of these two microphones, which one you like the most and so on. You know, all comments are welcome. And also, if you have any questions, you can leave everything down below. And also, if you're a regular, but you are still not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Like and share if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care and see you.